Snyder is 13 games into the season and has won 10 of those games so far. There's over a month left in the boys' basketball regular season, but the Panthers are pleased with where they are at this point. I think if you asked where we would like to be 13 games in, if you said we'd have 10 wins, I think we'd be satisfied with, with, with that, um, given just the, the nature of our schedule. But at the same time, you know, we approach every game as our championship game. Everyone's the one that we want to have. Feel like we let maybe one or two kind of slip away uh, and then faced a very good Lawrence North team. But, you know, I think we're in a good place. We try to be healthy, hungry, and humble. Um, staying healthy has been a bit of a challenge overall. But, um, you know, I think that we're doing a good job really at all three of those. The Panthers have a shot to win the SAC, something they last did in 2017. At this point, they're 3-1 and one in league play and tied with Homestead, Carroll, and Lures for the top spot. You know, we never take winning for granted, and especially to have this chance now that we, uh, now that we beat Homestead, it's great, and we definitely want to win out and try to win the SAC. Snyder's win against Homestead was this past Friday. They handed the Spartans their first conference loss this year, and John Barnes hit a buzzer beater from three-quarter court to win the game. I just want to give all glory to God. I don't know how that thing went in, but um, somehow he made a way, so I thank God for that one. We shot around in the gym, like full court shots and stuff, made a few, and as soon as he shot it, I was like, man, that looks that looks good. That could go in, then it went in. I was like, that's insane. I've never seen something like that before in my life. Another memorable moment happened on January 7th against New Haven. In that game, Dylan Duff reached the 1,000-point mark for his career. His first bucket of the game gave him that milestone. A few years ago, Duff witnessed former teammate Malik Williams accomplish that same feat. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, about my freshman year, Malik scored his 1,000. That was just like a huge deal. And that was something that I had put in my head, like, I want to do that. Like, that's a big accomplishment for me. So when I got it, it was like, I feel like I've accomplished what I've wanted for these past four years. It's really good to see your teammates uh, have success like that. And him scoring 1,000 points is a big deal for everyone in the school. I mean, he's making, he's, um, He's making a mark for his name in the school book, so very proud. Snyder has multiple marquee wins under their belts. In addition to their win at Homestead, the Panthers also beat the Spartans in the SAC Holiday Tournament and then won their home game against New Haven. I'm really glad that we won both games against Homestead because last year it was Holiday Tournament, lost to them, and lost to them regular season. And it was just a big deal to win both of those games, so we have like all the experience of playing them in case we have to play them again and just to get big wins like that, it feels great both times. As big as those wins are, Snyder doesn't take any team lightly. Every game's a battle. You know, we have Concordia on Friday night and that's our focus. It's going to be a battle. They're well coached, they're well put together. Uh, they shoot a lot of threes, which means that, you know, they can they can beat any team. And so that's kind of our focus is just get a little bit better every day. Michael Ely and Dylan Duff each average over 15 points a game and Isaac Farnsworth averages 9.7 per game. Jay Sean Underwood leads them in assists, averaging 3.6 per game. All in all, those guys make up a team with great chemistry. We have good chemistry. I mean, we've been playing with each other for a while now, a few years, and so the chemistry, we've, we've had it for a little bit now. Snyder has been able to put up high point totals against teams like Merrillville, Northside, and New Haven, and have also been able to win lower scoring games against teams like Dwenger, Zionsville, and Homestead. You can win by personnel and maybe getting up and down and make it a possession game and maybe your personnel is just better than their personnel. And I think that you can win by a system where you execute what it is that you want to execute or some combination of both. And we've shown that we can, we can execute, we can make it a tempo game and try to just push the pace. And I think the elite teams have to be successful at both. This is Thad Goff for Summit City Sports. The Panthers' next game is against Concordia at 745 tomorrow night. For the win, got it, John Burns Jr. for the win. Are you serious? Snyder wins a stunner. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We believe in sharing positive stories and are excited to set the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today.